Hey everyone, today we're going to talk about bunion surgery. Hi everyone, it's me, Dr. Noreen, your resident for ankle specialist, and welcome back to my channel. Okay guys, today we're going to be talking about bunion surgery. So what is a bunion? A bunion is basically when you have an increase in your first intermeritarsal angle, which is the angle these two bones make when they intersect down here. Basically what happens is this bone starts to rotate out this way, which then causes these bones to rotate this way. And then this bump that you get here, that's your bunion. Okay guys, surgical treatment for a bunion can vary. There's a whole bunch of different surgical procedures you can do to fix a bunion surgically. Today, I'm gonna focus on two of the most common procedures that are done to fix a bunion. So you guys, the first procedure is called an Austin, and it's done at the head of the first metatarsal. And the second procedure I want to talk about is called a lapidus procedure, and that's done at the first TMT joint or the tarsal metatarsal joint. Let's talk about the Austin procedure first. It's done in the head of the metatarsal, and basically what you do is you make a chevron type of cut, and then you shift the head of the bone over, and then you put a screw across the two segments of bone. And an Austin is typically done for a mild or smaller bunion deformity. After surgery, typically you're allowed to put weight on your heel and you will be in some sort of protective gear to your foot like a cam boot or something like that for six to eight weeks because bones take six to eight weeks to heal. Those are some generalities about the Austin bunionectomy that is done for smaller or more mild bunions. There's also some other factors that go into when you consider Austin or Lapidus but I'm just gonna keep it pretty general and basic. But a lapidus generally is done for a larger or more severe deformity of a bunion. Basically what you do in that procedure is you take out this joint, so you dissect down to the joint, and you remove the cartilage on both of these bones where they touch each other. You fuse those two bones together in a position where this bone is now straight. And you put hardware across that to ensure that that fusion site fuses. For this procedure, you guys, typically you will be non-weight bearing. How long you're gonna be non-weight bearing is up to your surgeon. So your weight bearing status will be at least two weeks of non-weight bearing. And then from there, it kind of depends on your surgeon. And you'll be in protective gear like a cam boot or something like that for a lapidus as well for six to eight weeks because again, bone takes six to eight weeks to heal. So you wanna make sure you're protecting that site while it's healing. And for both procedures, you can take a shower after your sutures come out, which is typically around week two. Oh yes, that was some general information about bunion surgery, the two most common procedures. Those two procedures can be done for various reasons, you guys. Because every one is different, and everything that I said in this in this video is kind of a generality. It, it's not gonna apply to every single person. If you need bunion surgery, your surgeon is going to look at your x-rays and the severity of your deformity, but they will also likely talk to you and see what your goals are, what you wanna do in life, uh, and what's realistic for you in terms of recovery time. So there's a lot of things that go into deciding what type of procedure to do. I hope you guys found this video helpful and informative. As always, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to stretch and subscribe, like this video, and I'll see you guys next week. Thank you. Bye.